Hey guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to go over how to generate leads if you're a mortgage loan officer. We're going to go step by step in Facebook ads, the actual ad copy, the picture, the headline, who we're actually targeting, how we're actually going to acquire those name, emails, and phone number. And then I'm going to talk about how you can optimize that because we don't want just leads, we want closings, right? So we're going to go over everything and we're going to jump right into the computer here. All right, guys, so now that we're in uh, my computer here, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up this ad. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, convert these leads into closed loans, closed deals, and actually closing homes so that you can actually produce a, a, a return on your investment. So make sure that you stay to the end of this video. Uh, if you've not already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. All right, guys, so this is uh, Facebook advertising, right? So Facebook, Instagram advertising. What we're gonna do here is choose lead generation as our objective. There are a few different things that you can do here the top four that I would recommend, uh, maybe even five, is uh, traffic, so driving traffic to your website or to a landing page, engagement, so getting people to actually like, comment, and share on your videos, and then conversions. So if you're using a landing page software and you're looking to actually acquire leads, that's what you want to do there, conversions. The two that we use the most are lead generation and conversions. The difference being in lead generation, uh, you actually use a landing page within Facebook. So the user doesn't have to leave Facebook and Facebook likes that. So you usually get a little bit cheaper cost per lead, cost per thousand impressions, all that stuff is a little bit lower using lead generation. So that's what we're gonna use today. Um, I call this campaign uh, by its name. So first time home buyers and then lead forms, uh, lead generation, and then the date. I'm going to click continue here and then in the ad set, in the ad set, this is where you're going to actually target who you want to see your ads. Uh, so I usually name this who I'm targeting. So I'm targeting Frisco, Texas within a, I think I'm actually doing a 13 mile radius. So I need to change this year. And then I'm targeting 24 to 40 year olds. So in my demographic, that's usually where uh, people are going to be first time home buyers, right? Um, if you see something different and you want to go a little bit uh, a little bit higher than that on the age, that's totally fine. And then I use married um, for my own personal preference. So that's usually what I start with, and that's the only targeting that I do um, at the beginning. And then once I see what my numbers are, then I can go into more targeting options. And at the end of this video, I'll show you a little bit and tell you how I do that. All right, so... Uh, scrolling down here, we're going to choose this. So the first thing that will pop up is everybody in this location. I don't really want that. I want people who live in this location. So we're going to choose people who live in this location. I already entered Frisco, Texas. We're doing a 13 mile radius. Like I said before, we're doing 24 to 40 year olds. We're targeting everybody. Um, we don't necessarily go into this. Um, I only speak English, so I am going to choose English here. And then for detailed targeting, this is where you'll do your interests, your demographics, your behaviors, and things of that nature. Uh, like I said before, we're going to target just married folks. You can go and get into um, specific things. Like if you want to target people who are interested in Zillow, you can do that. If you want to do Realtor.com, you can go and target people like that. You can say first time home buyer. Let's see if that pops up. So you can do first time home buyer grant, right? And you can go through all of these things. Um, and and we in a, in another video that I'm going to do, I'm going to go over the detailed targeting. So this is really basic. We we want a wide net at the beginning, and then uh, once we know our numbers, then we can go in and do a detailed targeting, and then kind of split test, right? So this uh, advertising uh, targeting versus uh, detailed targeting. What are our costs per lead? What is our cost per acquisition? What is it costing us to close on a home, a loan? And targeting, uh, excuse me, split testing 
versus detail targeting. What's our cost per lead? What's our cost per acquisition? And then whichever one wins, we're going to use that, right? So um, it really comes down to that. And each area is just a slightly different, um, usually across the nation in Canada. Um, it's pretty similar. So uh, it's not drastically different. We, we do these split tests all the time. Um, but that's in another video. If you want to see that video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. That's coming in next week. All right, so we are just going to include married folks, and then we are, are going to go and exclude all the mortgage loan officers. We can exclude real estate agents as well so that you don't get people peeping, but I tend to find that um, keeping real estate agents uh, on this can be a good opportunity for you uh, to brand yourself, right? So I typically keep that unless a client wants to exclude real estate agents. And then the next thing we want to do here is edit our placements. So it's going to be automatic placements. That's what's going to be checked. All we want to do is click on edit placements, scroll down here, and we just want Facebook feeds and stories and Instagram feeds and stories. All right, so I've checked all of those things. We can scroll down here and choose our budget. I typically recommend 10 to $30 per day with the sweet spot being around $20. Uh, again, that depends on your goals, right? If you're wanting to close on 10 loans, uh, you'll probably want to do a little bit more than that. Uh, if you are in a luxury market, you'll want to do a little bit more than that. But usually 10 to $30 per day will give you a good idea of your cost per lead and your cost per acquisition. So we're gonna click continue here. And I've already set some of this stuff up. For this, I'm using a single image. Uh, you can use video. I like, personally, I like single image and slideshows. That's typically what works best for this campaign. So we're just gonna use a single image. You do want to choose an image that is high contrast, right? So something that's going to pop in the newsfeed. So if they're scrolling, you go, whoa, that's a cool picture, right, of a home. If they're interested in the home, they're going to stop. And that's all we want them to do is stop scrolling. All right, so in the copy here, we're just gonna say stop wasting money on rent. We've got government programs that can help you get a home with little to no money down, even with a credit score as low as 580, 620, 680, whatever your program's uh, option is, you want to insert that there. And then you just want to say first time home buyers, special financing is available. Tap learn more below for more information. And the headline says, learn how to be how to buy a home with little to mo no money down, right? That's what we want them to do. And then if they're interested, they're going to click on learn more, which is where we're going to grab their information. So once they click on this ad, they're going to see this. This will pop up on their phone. This is what it looks like on Instagram. Very, very similar. Uh, and we're just going to say, hey, enter your info below to see if you qualify for our special financing programs. And we grab their name, email, and phone number. And then on the thank you page, this is where the magic happens. Um, this is another video that I'm going to do next week on how to go and actually get leads that turn into appointments, that turn into pre-approvals, that turn into closed loans. So if you want to see that video, make sure that you subscribe. If you want the exact ad copy of this ad plus other ads that we create for our clients, that's turned into millions of dollars in sales. We've done over you know, uh, 50,000 leads. Uh, we have over 4,000 agents and loan officers. So make sure that you, um, if you want that, it's totally free. Just click on the Facebook ad templates button below and we'll send that right over to you. Uh, again, guys, if you want those videos on detail targeting, that's coming next week. If you want the video on how to actually get leads to respond to you and close uh, a loan or a home, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm really trying to help you guys. I'm giving you my best stuff. So uh, if you're interested, great. Uh, subscribe. If you're not, click away from this video if you already haven't. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in upcoming videos.